Okay, got my window sills installed. Now I'm getting ready to uh, to stain my trim boards that'll go around the windows. And I gotta tell you, they look great. Um, also got my panels done for under the refrigerator and stove. That's where all my uh, furnace and uh, you know, other stuff. Right here is the is the intake. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, there's plenty of airflow. Um, got my shelves done here. Um, I have a little extra space. So I decided that uh, right there is a good place for the frying pans. Okay, we got two of them. And then there's a little extra space there for some, some other stuff. So I'm getting ready to uh, getting ready to stain honey. My trim boards are all cut. Ready to go around the windows. So let me do that and I'll be right back. <coughs> okay, I've got one window <coughs> trimmed out. Looks real good. And I've I've got some ideas about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut some just some, some little corner pieces there that will fit in those. Um, but I first have to take off the, uh, little seal ring and I'm going to be siliconing back, back behind there. Getting ready to do this window now. There's my trim pieces. So let me, let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay. All three windows are trimmed out. Of course, I still have that window over there to do, but I'll, you know, obviously when I put the tongue in groove. All right, I'm gonna keep this video short today. Um, clean up a little bit. I ran my wires for my under under cabinet lighting. So as soon as I stand under there, I'll tighten that all up. All right, and this is where the switch will go for the. The under lighting, under cabinet lighting. <clears throat> 